Dear Lord, I need you now. Please, send help. An unnecessary question, perhaps, but uh, is everything all right? <laughs> I'm not all right. There are demons in the mill. This is all Haskell's fault. May his wretched soul rest in peace. His leniency brought the devil on us. Now witches will walk the land. But why are you still standing there gawking like a goose? Aren't you a banisher? I told you, there are demons. I, I... Tell me all about these demons and this mill. There is a mill. It is my mill in which I mill flour to bake my bread. In the mill, there are demons sent by the evil one. Oh, all right, all right. No need to be an arse about it. I'll look into it. The, the mill lies past the barren fields and across the bridge. Whatever you can do to help, I would be grateful. Will you be all right out here? Will any of us be all right now our governor's gone? Lucy Barrow is dead, and demons walk. God has forsaken us. I'll take that as a maybe. I'm sorry to learn the alewife has died. <laughs> oh, don't be. Are you close? Close? <laughs> yeah, we were close. Close enough to hate each other. And before you jump to any sodden banisher conclusions, her death was not my doing. And t'was I who found the body. I shall not miss her. Yeah, you will when the ale runs out. You really don't seem to hold her in your heart. The baker and the alewife both need barley. We made a bargain, spit in hand and shaken on, to share the crop. But she broke the deal, went her own way, cut me out. No, I did not like her. I should go. As must I, to the hamlet, I think. God walk with you, banisher. Demons and a dead alewife. Haunting case. Haunting case. Watch out. Did we miss a few? Some demons. Need I was expecting an audience with Legion. Someday, maybe. No bread. God will never mention that. Quite the botanist. What does a baker need with all these plants? Remember the olive bread with rosemary and sage. <laughs> I miss Rome. I miss bread. Hard times for Carto the baker. Seems Cotto was looking for a substitute for barley. And failing. Looks like Cottle hasn't been able to do his work for quite some time. Sack race? You think you can outrun a ghost? Something's concealed.
This looks like it was ripped from a herbarium. Fetolica decendra. Pokeweed. It's poisonous. I doubt he used it. I hope I'm right. We should go back to the Harrows and talk to him. So a baker is forced out of work, his business partner dies mysteriously, and now the baker is haunted. That makes him unpredictable and hysterical, evidently. I know a lot of people who would be desperate if their work was taken away from them. Are you talking about the infamous banisher, anti Edwante? Be careful. I hear the end of the street. Did we miss a few? something spectral nearby. Spectre nearby. Big one. I'll summon it now. Show your shape in flesh! Crows incoming! Back here now. Run a ghost.
attachments. It's about to strike. Mr. Kato, are you here? Who's that? Anyone home? <sighs> right, well, what happened here? Oh, it was a miserable life without bread.
takes dedication to sleep where you work. A lot of poverty. My mother treated a baker once. He had the worst cough I'd ever heard. Turns out inhaling flour all day isn't good for your lungs. Aye, in need of poverty. Despite the barley shortage, Lucy Barrow was brewing ale. Drove Perry mad. Sent him snooping after her. Why would she not tell him? Food is as important as drink. Aspen must be the woman Cotto spoke of. The one who trained him. Perhaps he's lonely here, away from his people. You haven't seen better days. I know the feeling. I feel a draft. From the invisible. doing here? Wait. The Banisher McRaith. Haunted by a ghost? You must be joking. Mistress Barrow, glad to see you, circumstances notwithstanding. This is my partner, Antia Duarte. Yes, yes, pleasure to meet you, but never mind that. Perry Cottle stole the key to my alehouse. You have it. I want it back. Why would Perry Cottle have the key to your alehouse? He wishes to steal my business, so I hid it from him. There's nothing quite like watching a grown man soil his britches over losing a bloody key. Serves him right. The barley failed. No barley means no flour. No flour means no bread. It drove him mad. It made him mean. I don't easily scare, but he scared me. And I was right. In the end, he poisoned me. Tell me about the poisoning. To start, let me tell you about the baker Perry Cottle, who is as mean as he is stupid. Mean, for he would not pay me for my work. Stupid, for he poisoned me before he could get his grubby hands on it. Are you sure he poisoned you? We had words. He threatened me. He carried out the threat. It seems cut and dried to me. You know how to brew ale without barley. We know this because Perry Cottle spied you doing it. For a great baker, he makes a piss-weak spy. Why would you not share your work? I'll tell you this. My husband and I ran a tavern in England. He supported my ambition. Never once was he intimidated by me. When he died, I sold up and left for the new world. I was looking for peace, opportunity, wealth. I found it all. Until the curse. Everything I have, I earned with the sweat of my brow and the brains in my head, and neither man nor God shall take it from me. Perry Cottle thinks innovation, the fruit of my labor, comes from God to be shared by all, but especially by Perry Cottle. I am a woman of enterprise, and no one drinks for free. No payment, no deal. You don't believe me? See for yourself. You have the key. Go to the alehouse where I died. Where is it? Go north, across the bridge, past the fallow fields. But do be careful. I hear it's haunted by the ghost of the poor dead alewife. 
We should go. You should. Work to be done. Chop on. Looks like Perry Cuttle left some details out of his story. Let's go to the alehouse. Something's concealed. What is lurking here? Time to work, Vanisher. Something's concealed. Lucy's alehouse, I believe. A playground for the devil, according to some. Folk need bread. What do you use in place of the barley? Lucy! <laughs> Mistress Barrow, please, I beseech you, tell me. No. Folk must have bread before they have ale. I offered you a fair deal. You're the one who turned it down. Then you leave me no choice. I'll have the secret. I'll not let them starve when there's bread to be had. You missed your chance. Now go away. Not the first time we've heard of this deal. Doesn't change the fact that Perry was furious at Lucy's refusal. Enough to kill? Seems unlikely. Keep looking. Those concoctions sure are inventive. She knows her trade. I know brewers. And this one is talented. That's quite the sale. Good thing she had her husband's support. Unmarried alewives don't usually have it so easy. Lucy Barrow was quite the force of nature. 
As a widowed alewife amongst witch-hunting Puritans, she'd have to be. Exactly. Well thumbed books. Lucy Barrow's an educated herbalist. An alewife fierce and educated. I bet folk were intimidated. And suspicious. We should search the mill. A book of poisonous plants with a page torn out. Let me guess. The fight to Lacket de Candra page is missing. Door is locked. That works. Let's go. Mistress Barrow is running. I'm surprised Perry Cotto found no substitute for Barley. Some men can't think beyond what they already know. But this, I think, is about wounded pride. This place reminds me of Mother Lawrence's over on Cheapside. I wonder how the old ale wife's doing. I'm sure she'd be glad to see you back on your feet. She was a good friend, and I needed one. Ah, the governor in his genius giving the title alewife to the alewife. <laughs> she must have loved that. Quite the collection. Well labeled, too. Lucy Barrows is better organized than my mother. This is the fight to the, the portweed. What's it doing here? This is our ghost tie, and a memory hangs on it. Part. Don't get excited. Once upon a time, finding this lot would have made my day. Yes, and those orders won't be fulfilled. Unless Perry takes over the brewing. Wouldn't be the first time an ale wife lost her business to a man. Unveil yourself. You losing your edge? Reunius fat aster hemi. Harry Cottle, 
Is that you are creeping once again? You can die first before I give you anything. Rest run, Cottle. I have a stick and I'll not hesitate to use it! She took the fight to Laka instead of the Hobbs. A sad fate. And a stupid death. Afraid to lose her individuality, she lost everything instead. Without her secret ingredient, I still can. Perry Cottle! What are you doing in my house, you horrible little man? Dear Lord, what mark of the evil one is this? Lucy Barrow? But... You're dead. I saw your body in the alehouse. The dead return, and you are most surely a witch. Yes! Oh, this explains everything. Oh, for the love of God, just stop your nonsense and explain what the hell you were doing in my alehouse. I believe I'm the one who needs answers. Oh, God! Oh, the world is ending, and the Lord must call us to him! Go on then, Mr. Cottle. What were you doing in the alehouse when you found Lucy dead? I'd not seen her in a moment. I was checking she was well. You base strain, Hardy Oaf. You'll not have what's mine! You were checking to make sure I was dead. I was doing no such thing. But you were, Mr. Cotto. You spent weeks harassing Lucy here for her recipe. You harangued her so much that in a moment of stress, she made a mistake and accidentally poisoned herself. For that, you are responsible. Time to set the top on the right bottle, Cotto, you dundering harasser. You windling failure, you sneaking thief! I... No, I... I, I, I never meant to... I, I am none of those things! She had it coming! Devil worshipper! Witch! Selfish woman! To work then. Let's do this so it's done. Perry Cottle, you're haunted by the ghost of the alewife Lucy Barrow. You didn't kill her, but that doesn't make you innocent. I have done nothing wrong! You bullied her, and you spied on her, and threatened her. That seems wrong to me. You did those things, and she came back because of them. Because of you. What? What else was I to do? You could have left her alone. I should not end like this. I should rise. I should rise. Give them this day their daily bread. They'll figure it out, or they'll starve. <laughs>